Uh, we're just going through some of the new features. Uh, things that we're not going to get to cover today are like stacks, tracks, and flex pitch. We will get some vocals uh, over the next few weeks in, and I'll have a look at that. And we'll maybe do a tech tip on that. Uh, and the Logic Remote uh, with the iPad. Again, I'm not 100% convinced I want a second screen iPad. To, I have a, a remote for Final Cut Pro 10 that I never use, and I'm presuming it's going to be the same. You're right beside your computer making music. Uh, I don't see why you need an iPad across the room. Uh, maybe you could be just sitting, chilling on a city while things are playing, and you're having to listen back, and you can you know, adjust things. Uh, but we're going to have a quick look at bass amp and see what it uh, involves. So let's go to, let's call up some basses just. Let's switch off the chord, the MIDI effects. And let's remove that and record something in sort of bassy. And let's quantize that. And let's flick through and have a look. Again, guys, if you use uh, Amp Designer, we can move the microphones about. We can change the microphones to a condenser. Uh, we can change the heads. You know, it's... So let's have a listen to some of these. Turn it down. So yeah, it'll give you that sort of crunchiness. You know, you've an EQ, you've a pre-gain, bass. You know, nothing new we haven't seen before. Make it a bit brighter. Let's flick to the next head. I think that's it's meant to be a valve head. Maybe select a better bass sound. So there you go, you know, it's, I, I've on very rare occasion used the old uh, bass uh, designer. Uh, there's no mic'd cabinet here, it's a direct uh, box di would So that's your DI box. It might give you, uh, there's the cabinet, if you want to use the cabinet. Again, I think these sort of drummer things and bass players are very much probably aimed at singer-songwriters. People think Apple recognises that more and more people are recording at home and uh, they need other tools to help them record. And I suppose drums, you've got your guitar amp, which is on pedal boards, which your, is your whole guitar rig sorted. You've now got your bass stack. You've now got your drummer. Uh, so the only thing is your guitar and voice They've got pianos there, they've got pian uh, guitars. So the whole band thing is, is pretty much covered now in, in Logic, but we're kind of more interested in the synths and the arpeggiators. You know, I, I've i kind of ignored the whole main stage bass amp, guitar amp. Although, you know, guitar amp over a, a piano or some sort of high synth can be really effective in a dance track, you know, and just adding a bit of crunch. Uh, we do use the overdrives and stuff, so... But yeah, you know... Sorry, 
or your DI. So you can have a mix between the DI and the amp. DI being direct, direct injection. Uh, so, as I said, that's a quick overview of the new things in Logic. We didn't get to look at uh, flex pitch, stacks, track stacks, and a lot of the drummer stuff. We had a quick sort of look at the drummer stuff. Uh, how relevant is to it is to us, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I will live with it for the next few days uh, and see where we are with it. Uh, overall impressions... It's a it's a fair enough update, you know. It's a couple of new things. Nothing, it's nothing too radical. Uh, do I like the look of it? Kind of getting used to it. Uh, but to my eyes, this here at the moment, if I just quickly scan, is uh, very cluttered. Uh, but it's one of those things where you just need to get to really familiar with the different icons and what they all mean and i'd say within three weeks of using this it'll just be second nature and you'll go back to logic 9 and go oh that looks kind of old uh, so guys thanks for watching hope this has been helpful and uh, speak to you all soon